Hello, I'm coming to you once again from my office at the Rayburn House office building across the street from the Capitol. Uh, we've been having uh, votes on various uh, budget proposals and of course uh, everybody in the country who cares about uh, what's going on uh, 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 is certainly concerned about uh, uh, the indebtedness and, and uh, our economy and the future of this uh, uh, country. Uh, by the most optimistic predictions, uh, our national debt is supposed to go from 16 and a half trillion where it is today to 25 trillion over the next 10 years. And uh, those are figures that no one can humanly comprehend. What's even more scary for those who think about it, uh, we're paying now a little over 200 uh, billion a year in interest on the national debt. The Congressional Budget Office uh, came out uh, uh, less than a month ago and they, they predicted that in 10 years time we're gonna be paying 857 billion dollars a year just to pay the interest on the national debt, which means that at that time we could be paying for nothing but Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and interest on the national debt. Nothing for defense, nothing for highways, nothing for national parks, nothing for the FBI, I mean on and on and on and on. And of course, we simply can't let that happen, so uh, we have to take uh, uh, significant drastic action now. Our, um, our children, our grandchildren, and even people who want to have a good retirement 10 or 15 years from now uh, are going to be in some serious uh, trouble. But my main concern today is about uh, uh, the so-called Affordable Care Act. What a, what a misnaming that is, uh, the so-called Obamacare. It's so sad that the federal government uh, uh, took uh, uh, what was a very minor problem for a very few people and turned it into a massive major problem for everybody. And what I'm talking about is that before the federal government got in to medical care, medical care, health care was cheap and affordable by almost everybody and doctors even made health, health, house calls. Now, uh, almost nobody but Bill Gates and Warren Buffett and a few others could uh, afford any catastrophic illness thanks to uh, our federal government. But uh, as uh, Speaker Pelosi said, the uh, uh, health care legislation, the Obamacare, was so complicated, she said we'd have to pass it to find out what was in it. Now that we're finding out uh, more and more about it, it's becoming less and less popular all the time. And uh, uh, just a few days ago, the Associated Press ran a story, and the headline says, Insurers Warn of Overhaul Induced St sticker shock. They call it uh, sticker shock because people are going to see their premiums uh, go up, the Associated Press said, by 20 to 100 percent. And the reason for that was explained in a, a column in one of the Capitol Hill newspapers today. They predicted uh, uh, premium increases of, uh, uh, of 61 percent in Florida, um, um, roughly uh, uh, anywhere from 40 to uh, even 100%, uh, uh, 60 to 100% in Georgia, uh, on and on and on, 55% to over 100% in Ohio. I mean, it's, it's amazing, uh, uh, the predictions. And here's what it says, why such draconian increases? Uh, the Heritage Foundation ascribes it to two provisions of the new law. The first restricts health insurers from charging any one age group more than three times the premium it charges any other age group. This three to one ratio, typically between the older non-Medicare portion of the covered population and the young group, is the brainchild of the social planners. The actual figure is about five to one. It costs about five times as much to insure older patients than younger ones. But because the law says you can't charge more than the three to one ratio, what that means is the premiums will have to go way up on the younger population so that Obamacare can uh, uh, take care of the uh, uh, higher costs for the older population. Then Diana Furchgott Roth, who was the chief economist for the Department of Labor, she wrote this, she said, individual taxes for not buying insurance under Obamacare are $95 in 2014, $325 in 2015, and $695 in 2016 and thereafter quite low relative to the cost of premiums. Internal Revenue Service regulations issued on February 1st set the maximum tax in 2016 at 2.5% of taxable income or $2,085 per family. 
far less than uh, the premiums that they're talking about. The federal government will subsidize health insurance purchases on the exchanges for Obamacare's uh, uh, crushing burden. And what it means is we're going to have these sticker shock uh, premium increases because of the rules and regulations and red tape of Obamacare. It is so convoluted and complicated, complicated and confusing that nobody's got it figured out. Every state seems to be handling it in a little bit different way. And all we know is, is that it's going to cost way more than what was originally predicted. The Congressional Budget Office has already more than doubled its original cost estimate. And all federal health care plans have ended up costing way more than their original low-ball estimates. It's, we simply can't afford it. And it's going to destroy, this, uh, destroy our economy if we don't make really big changes. Where there's some of us up here who are trying to uh, just say that we need to repeal the whole thing and, and uh, start over again. And then, too, uh, we have uh, some people say, well, you can't cut Medicare. Well, some people are getting rich off of Medicare. Some of these companies and some of these doctors. I read, for instance, a few days ago that uh, uh, wheelchair companies, for instance, uh, are uh, buying uh, wheelchairs uh, for on average $795 wholesale and then selling them for retail for around $2,500. But, uh, but the ones that they're selling to Medicare, they're getting reimbursed from $5,000 to $7,000 per wheelchair based on all the bells and the whistles. You've got, you've got just ridiculous rip-off type situations going on in almost every government program, but even in Medicare and it needs to stop uh, or uh, it's going to really be harmful to the entire nation, old and young, in the years ahead.